I don't know about you, but many times I have wanted to participate in a challenge, but I didn't have a lot of time or I simply couldn't make a decision on which pattern to sew because of all the many choices that are available. If you fall into these categories, or if you simply enjoy seeing sewing inspiration, then this video is for you. Hello everyone, my name is Talisha, also known as Creativity by T, and in this video, I'm sharing with you easy to sew spring and summer maxi dress inspiration patterns. These sewing patterns that I am going to share with you are ones that can easily be sewn up in two hours or less, but they will still look amazingly stunning, classy, and trendy once completed. So if this is something that you are interested in, please continue to watch. So I was inspired to make this video because of the Sew Maxi for Mother's Day challenge that is being hosted by Crystal of Crystal Sews and Stuff and T from Crumpets Tea and Sewing. As many of you already know, I am an ambassador this year, so I thought I would help encourage you all to participate by giving inspiration and doing some of the footwork that requires a little time that some of you may not have. Now to let you know off the top, some of these patterns look very similar and I'm going to group them in the order in which they share similarity. So for the first group that I would like to share with you, they all have one thing in common. There's at least one dress that serves as the typical maxi dress. And this first pattern is Simplicity 1358. And there are six variations within this pattern. And two of them fall into the typical maxi dress category. And those views are views A and D. And the differences between the two are the neck lines. So there's either a round or a v-neck. And you can either have a slit or keep the dress closed. The next pattern is Simplicity 8874, and this has four variations within the pattern, and views C and A fall into the maxi dress category. The differences between view C and A are the necklines and sleeves. View A has a lower and more square neckline, and it's sleeveless, and view C has a higher, more round neck lined with short cap sleeves. Next we have McCall 7386 and view C is the only maxi dress option but this is very simple and even considered a learn to sew pattern and I am sure that this dress pattern only has two pattern pieces so this would be super duper quick to sew up. And then the last one for this category is another McCall's pattern and it's McCall's 8062 and all three views with this pattern serve as maxi dresses and I have actually sewn this up before and I really liked it but I used a poor quality fabric so I didn't wear the dress that much and I don't wear it anymore at all really but the differences between these dresses will be the hemlines and the sleeves but again all are very easy to sew and this is another learn to sew pattern so moving on to the next category these maxi dress options are typical, but they all have elasticated waist. So if you like a maxi dress that differentiates your upper and lower half of your body, these dress options will be perfect for you. So for the first pattern that I have is Butter Egg 6330, and this is a lifestyle wardrobe pattern, but View C is going to serve as our maxi dress. And that is the main picture right here. And if you want to make a jumper, you could even sew view E. And overall, I think this is a very good pattern just in general because of all of the options that are available. Then we have Butterick 6205 and views B and C would serve as our maxi. What stands out to me with this pattern are the ties at the shoulders and the elastic casing at the neckline that gathers the fabric in the front and back. So this is super cute, um, but it is a fabric hog. <laughs> um, that's not something that I picked up by immediately by looking at the pattern cover, but it does require a lot of fabric even for view A. Next we have McCall 6744. 
with four views and views B and D would serve as a maxi for the bottom portion but you can use any view for the bodice. Uh, the difference with the bodice pattern pieces are the sleeves, the fully covered back, a razor back, a full wrap in the front or fully covered in the front. So you would have a lot of options with this one. I'm not sure if this is still being sold or if it's out of print, but you may have this in your stash. So that's the reason why I'm showing it. And if not, you can always find it on SD. The last one for this category is McCall's 8035. And View C, which is the blue dress, would serve as our maxi. It's very simple and easy to sew and many have sewn this up recently and it looks absolutely awesome on people and I just think it's adorable. So for our next category we will go over our wrap style maxi dresses and I have two suggestions for this category. The first is McCall 7406 and views C and D would be perfect for a maxi dress. And then we have McCall's 7119 and views B and C will be perfect for this. I love the gathering in the back and the wide front facing band on the front bodice. Uh, that actually allows for contrasting and it gives it an overall more expensive look in my opinion. And then on to our next category. Um, this category has a look of cut in arm hem lines with neckline casings or neck bands, but they all look very similar. And I'll go ahead and show these to you. So for the first pattern for this one is McCall 7405 and views B, C, and D are perfect fits. And the necklines of these have casings for a gathered neckline. View D actually has an elastic casing, so that view would fit into the elasticated waist category as well. So now we have new look 6372, views A and C, which are the bottom views and what the model is wearing. And this is very, very pretty. And the differences between the two views are how deep the sleeve area is cut in and the neckband. Then we have McCall 7943. And I actually made this dress last summer and I really loved it. I made view D and I love the gathers at the neckline and the neck band. The differences between view C and D would be the tear at the bottom and the slit. I made the plain one, which is this one down here. Now I do want to warn you that the armholes are drafted very, very large on this pattern. So I would suggest checking and making adjustments prior to cutting into your fabric if needed, because once I fixed it post construction, it did not drape properly. So definitely want to check that before you actually cut into your fabric. And then the last one for this category will be Simplicity 8909 views C and D. The feature that stands out in this pattern for view D is the asymmetrical design. So that's on the bottom here. And for my last category, which is the full look maxi, I have two different patterns to share. This first pattern is Simplicity 8911. Excuse this, the children got a hold of it. <laughs> And all four of these views would be perfect for a maxi dress. It meets all the requirements for this. This only has two pattern pieces for all views except for view A because A calls for a set in sleeve. But this pattern has great variation and very easy and quick to sew. I especially like views B and D. And D has a very cute peekaboo feature on the sleeve. So I really like that. Then we have Simplicity 8132 View C and D. And I absolutely love View C. And I like the layering options that uh, comes with this style of dress. I've seen dresses similar to this sewn up on Instagram. And people also consider this style as a tent dress. So again, um, you've got some variation and it's very simple. So again, 
These are all suggestions for maxi dresses that you can sew up for the spring and summer and also for the sew maxi for Mother's Day challenge that would only require one to two hours of your time, but you will look fabulous once completed. I do understand that some of these patterns may be out of print, but if you are anything <laughs> like me, you may have them in your stash or you can purchase them from Estee if you really want it that bad. I truly hope that you are inspired to sew a maxi dress by what was shown in this video and I hope that you enjoyed this video as well. If you did, don't forget to click the like button and if you have not done so already, I do invite you to subscribe to my channel and click the gray notification bell so that you can be notified whenever I upload a video and I do upload every week. I would also like to inform you that a new sponsor and prize has been added to the Sew Maxi for Mother's Day Challenge and that is the Maeve Skirt by True Bias. If you have not heard of the Sew Maxi for Mother's Day Challenge, I will link the information video that I made and all the details concerning it in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching and please let me know in the comments which pick of these maxi dress choices was your favorite. Again, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!